Welcome to the Minefields music video premiere. I am so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm trying to read the chat, but it's like. <laughs> Hey everyone! Welcome to the Minefields music video premiere slash Q&A. Um, I missed you guys so much! I... <laughs> Hi! Okay. Do you guys have any questions? How's everyone doing? How are you guys feeling? We haven't done anything like this in so long that I'm just like, I woke up this morning and you know when you're like a kid and you're going on a field trip and the night before you get everything ready and you're just like, you can't even fall asleep because you're so excited. That was literally me last night and I woke up and I was just like, I literally woke up like, all right, time to go. Like no, no snoozing my alarm. I woke up before I was supposed to. I was just so excited. I love you guys. I miss you. Oh, okay. I, I'm trying to read the chat. Wait. Um, wait. I'm just... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to read the questions, but it's... How do I... Okay, I'm... Thank you, guys. Okay. Somebody asked, um, how was John? Was it nice to film the video with him? It was so much fun. He is so lovely and so down to earth and just so kind. Um, we were out in this field for a few hours and we were just getting a bunch of different shots. And like, I don't want to spoil it because it's like a specific part of the video and there's like a specific like, there's like specific visual effects and like there was a lot of stuff going on. So sometimes they had to set up and we would just like, we were at the piano, we filmed like a little singing video that you guys are gonna see very soon. And um, yeah, we just kind of, we just like, it was so easy to work with him. He's just so lovely. And it was just an honor to have him on the song. And like, I'm so excited for you guys to watch this. I'm like, no, 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 I'm so excited. <laughs> um, okay. Ask me questions. Ask me questions, guys. There's like 10 minutes left. Okay. Um, Someone's like, are you planning something new? Yeah, video in 10 minutes. <laughs> um, someone said, I cried tears of gold for you. I cried tears of gold for you too. I've been feeling nostalgic with that, um, about that song lately. Um, let's see, let's see, okay. Um, Someone said, what's your video, your favorite video you've ever recorded? I think this one takes first place now because it was my biggest video that I've ever done. And on the first day, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but like the first shooting day we were on the lake and they built a stage under the water and it was basically like, it looked like a floating piano. So I arrived on set and like got my hair and makeup done and um, got dressed. And then you just see like this like huge crane and like this piano on the water and everyone's just like super hard at work. And you're like, and I was just like, wow, like I've never, I've never been on a set like this. This is insane. And they put me on a little, a little boat, a little pontoon. And then they like brought me to the piano. So like we had to like, you know, go like a this. And then after that, I went to the piano and I was just kind of like, sitting in the middle of a lake <laughs> and playing the piano and recording shots because like we did we did like intervals so we had like one uh we did the kind of like the daylight slash sunset 
shoot and then after had a little bit of a break went to go eat and then recorded at night and then did some nighttime shots in the lake or at the lake and then the second shoot day was with John and that's when I was wearing the white dress and um, we were in the field so it was like a different location and it was so much fun it was like I think the second shoot day was a lot more I would say a lot easier and a lot more straightforward. I think it's just because like when you're when your feet are like in the water and you're like kind of low-key soaked and you're just in the middle of a lake, you're just like a little cold and all this stuff going on. So being dry was nice the second time around, um, but it was fun. Both days were really fun. All right. Um, what other questions? Do you get nervous when you sing? Yes, all the time. I got nervous this morning just waking up and like, just being like, oh my gosh, here we go. We haven't done anything like this in so long and I missed it. And I, okay, I hate I, I know I went like a little bit MIA for a bit there, but like I'm working on so many new things and writing and this video and a lot of other stuff is in the works right now. And so I hate kind of like disappearing for a bit, but if I'm disappearing, just know that I'm working on something. <laughs> um, what was your reaction to the finished song? So it was it was kind of like a, it was a long it was like a little bit of a long journey. Um, and you know, it was me, like it was a solo song at first and then we added John later. But as soon as John was on the song, I was like, this is how the song was always supposed to be. This is perfect. I actually heard the song like when I was out in public the first time and I just had like full body shivers. I was like, <gasps> like with John on it, it was amazing. Also guys, don't forget, don't log out of this page once the, once the um, video is starting, it's gonna automatically bring you there. So don't try to like refresh the page or don't try to go another page. It's gonna bring you there. It's gonna take you there. You're gonna go where you gotta go. And then we're gonna watch the video together. I am, I'm literally so like giddy right now. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Someone said album question mark, always working on it. And I don't like to like keep saying that, but like for real, it's true. I'm always working on it, but lots of stuff coming, lots of stuff coming. I am just as I'm more like I like as hello, that did not, nothing came out right there. Um, I'm always so excited to share music. It's actually really hard to, oh yeah. Ooh, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. Someone said, I like your jacket. Thank you. Thank you. Six more minutes, guys. Okay. Let's read these questions. It's like going, the chat is going so fast. Okay, okay, okay. Um, How old were you when you knew you wanted to do music? Um, literally like four years old, like three. I always knew in my like gut that I wanted to do music, but I just didn't know that it was something that was like possible and attainable. And so I always did it because I loved it. Like I would always sing because I loved it and write because I loved it and perform because I loved it. But I only started to like, I guess professionally do music like three, two, three years ago because you know, that's when I finally was like, okay, this is something I can pursue and I can, and I can do. And I, like, I never, there was never like a moment where it was like this, where I was like, okay, I'm going to be doing this, you know, as my career. It was just kind of like, everything was so gradual and flowed right into that, which makes me think that, you know, that's what, that's what I was meant to be doing even more because I, I didn't really plan it. It was just kind of like my love for it that, that, that took me to where, to where I wanted to go. Um, what is your favorite lyric from the song? I think my favorite lyric from Minefields is, um, 
Now this might be a mistake that I'm calling you this late, but these dreams I have of you ain't real. I started way too low, but the first line of the song, but these dreams I have of you ain't real enough. So I love, I love singing about dreams. I don't know if you guys <laughs> noticed, but I love lyrics that have dream, you know, themes. Did you get to keep the white dress? No, um, it was an Ashi piece and it was sent from the Middle East. So it was sent over and it was sent in a really, really big box. And um, I didn't get to see what the box was, but apparently it was like a really huge box. And it was like a whole, it was a whole thing. Um, even, even like putting it on, it just felt like walking into like, a, how do I explain it? Just like a, like a little mini room. It was a massive dress. It was beautiful though. It was like literally a work of art. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, Somebody asked, how do I find inspiration for when I write my music? Uh, a lot of the time, it is either from my family or my friend's personal experience or my own. So it is like, it's been a lot of like a mixture of stuff. And sometimes I just like love a concept and a theme. So I run with it. I just take it and I'm like, I want to write about this. And a lot of the times it depends on the vibe of the song. Because sometimes I hear a vibe and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this sounds like this type of like subject and this sounds like this. So I do that. Um, all right. You. Um, 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 um. How old are you? I'm 20. Um, will you make another song later? Yes, very, 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 very many songs are in the works and that are coming. And after those are done, more are gonna be written and more and more and more until I, till I can't sing anymore. I don't know, I don't know. Um, where are you from? Morocco and Canada. So I was born in Morocco. I am Moroccan, but I lived in Canada almost my whole life. Um, Let's see. Somebody asked. <laughs> um, does your family listen to your music? Yes, they're literally my number one supporters. So I love you, Mama Baba Samia Kinza can have come. Um I don't think they're watching this right now because they're working, but but um, if they watch it later. Okay. Um, oh no, okay. So it's almost 11. I love you guys. Thank you for coming and asking me questions. And remember, don't click off the page. It's gonna redirect you to the Mind Feels music video. I love you. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm about to combust. I love you guys. Okay. Yes, 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 everybody put your hands up, everybody. Okay, um, all right, guys, bye, I love you.